Understanding water coverage. I'm Justin. And I am Aaron. Welcome to Insurance Hacks, where we use our considerable insurance knowledge to help you hack your way through the jungle that is understanding insurance. And, and today we're gonna talk about understanding water damage coverage. Water, water everywhere, and how the hell is it covered? Well, water is one of those things that the insurance company has subdivided into different coverages and different ways to protect against it. Um, we're gonna start with the most exciting one, which is sudden and accidental. I've personally experienced this. I came home one day and I was ankle deep in dishwasher How water. sudden? It was very sudden. <laughs> uh, it happened all at once. And that's sudden and accidental. Uh, that's if your dishwasher breaks or your- um, Water heater. Water heater splits, that's yeah. a good one. You know, And so it's just sudden and it happens and that's sudden and accidental. And that's one form of water damage coverage. And another one that you would have to add by endorsement is going to be water backup coverage, which seems pretty sudden. And accidental. Yeah, but it, they subdivide it. It's not always going to be covered. The big one where this comes into play is if the city sewer line backs up into your house, and causes damage, a lot of policies are gonna say, well, that's the city's problem. And a lot of cities are gonna say, well, no. that's the homeowner's problem. Right. And you are stuck in the middle, ankle deep in sewage, trying to figure out how it's covered. But if you have water backup coverage, you can make sure it's covered, but it's not automatically included. You gotta make sure you ask for it and add it. Absolutely, and the, and the, the next one is, is one that's not quite as exciting, I suppose. Yeah. Uh, it just happens gradually. Mm -hmm. It's called seepage and leakage coverage. So seepage and leakage is just what it sounds like. Um, if you are suddenly leaning your hand up against the wall and it goes through it like cake, you've got a seepage and leakage problem. And because it wasn't sudden and accidental, if you didn't buy that coverage, you're out of luck. They have continued to subdivide this. We're not done. Oh no, because there's another type of water damage that you might have that you also may not see. It may not be exciting, sudden, and accidental, but it definitely causes a lot of damage. And that would be a leak within the slab foundation or really just within any kind of foundation at right. all the coverage for water stops at the foundation. So you have to add the foundation coverage to make sure that you're covered. Now this isn't gonna just pure on cover foundation damage. Right. Foundations shift because of earth movement and that's not gonna be covered on homeowners policies, really any kind of insurance policy. But it is that if you have a break within the foundation and it causes damage to your house, the cost to repair that damage or really to repair the damage to your house is gonna be covered, but only if you add the foundation water damage coverage. Right. The final one that we want to think about is flood insurance. What does flood mean? All those things are flood, I suppose. You know, your dishwasher breaks, you have a flood in your house, that's a flood. Well, for insurance, it has a special definition. So flood is uh, rapidly rising groundwater and it's a separate policy. Flood is generally not available on a home policy by itself. It's going to be a separate policy that you buy that's actually a government backed policy so that if you end up on the news surrounded by sandbags, you've got coverage and, and that's what flood insurance is for. Yeah. It's got to be, it could be a government backed policy, but they also have private backed oh, ones as true. well that you could get. But if you're in a flood zone or not in a flood zone, you can get flood insurance coverage. You may have a flood, even if you're in flood zone X, which is technically not a flood zone. Exactly. Yeah. So those are the different types of water damage coverage. As usual, we hope we helped you a little bit. Um, thank you for coming and thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Uh, we might even make a video for you if you have a question. Yeah, please so. remember to like, subscribe, and share. Also check out our other video where we talk about all the different homeowners coverages and give a brief overview of them. This one wanted to get real specific on, on water. So we really appreciate you watching. Come back next time. We'll see you. The Phoenix insurance for you.